Davri Hayamim Shani. 2 Chronicles 18. Now Yahushaphat had riches and honor in abundance and joined affinity with Achav. And after certain years he went down to Achav, to Shomron, and Achav killed sheep and oxen for him in abundance. And for the prophet, rather, and for the people that he had with him, and persuaded him to go up with him to Ramoth Gilad. And Achav, king of Yashadael, said unto Yahushaphat, king of Yahuda, Will you go with me to Ramoth Gilad? And he answered him, I am as you are, and my people as your people, and we will be with you in the war. And Yahushaphat said unto Eth, the king of Yashadael, Inquire, I pray you, at the word of Yahuwah today. Therefore the king of Yashadael gathered together Eth of prophets, four hundred men, and said unto them, Shall we go to Ramoth Gilad to battle, or shall I forbear? And they said, Go up, for Elohim will deliver it into the king's hand. And Yehoshaphat said, Is there not here a prophet of Yahuwah besides that we might inquire of him? And the king of Yashadael said unto Yahushaphat, There is yet one man by whom we may inquire of at Yahuwah. But I hate him, for he never prophesied good unto me, but always evil. The same is Mike Yahu, the son of Yimla. And Yahushaphat said, Let not the king say so. And the king of Yashadael called for one of his officers and said, Fetch quickly Mike Yahu, the son of Yimla. And the king of Yashadael and Yahushaphat, king of Yahuda, sat either of them on his throne, and clothed, rather, clothed in their robes. And they sat in a void place at the entering in of the gate of Shomoron. And all the prophets prophesied before them, and Zedek Yahu, the son of Canaan, Ah, had made him horns of iron, and said, Thus says Yahweh, With these you shall push Eth Aram until they be consumed. And all the prophets prophesied so, saying, Go up to Reamoth Gilad and prosper, for Yahweh shall deliver it into the hand of the king. And the messenger that went to call Mi ke Yahu spoke to him, saying, Behold, the words of the prophets declare good to the king with one assent. Let your word, therefore, I pray you, be like one of theirs, and speak you good. And Mi ke Yahu said, As Yahweh lives, hath even what my Elohim says, that will I speak. And when he was come to the king, the king said unto him, Mika, shall we go to Ramoth Gilad to battle, or shall I forbear? And he said, Go ye up and prosper, and they shall be delivered into your hand. And the king said to him, How many times shall I adjure you that you say nothing but the truth to me in the name of Yahuwah? Then he said, I did see Athal Yashadael scattered upon the mountains as sheep that have no shepherd. And Yahweh said, These have no master. Let them return, therefore, every man to his house in peace. And the king of Yashadael said to Yahushaphat, Did I not tell you that he would not prophesy good unto me, but evil? Again he said, Therefore hear the word of Yahweh. I saw at Yahweh sitting upon his throne, and all the host of heaven standing on his right hand and on his left. And Yahweh said, Who shall entice Eth Achav, king of Yashar'el, that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilad? 
and one spoke saying after this manner, and another saying after that manner. Then there came out a ruach, and stood before Yahuwah, and said, I will entice him. And Yahuwah said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go out, and be a lying ruach, in the mouth of all his prophets. And Yahuwah said, You shall entice him, and you shall also prevail. Go out, and do even so. Now therefore, behold, Yahuwah has put a lying ruach in the mouth of these your prophets, and Yahuwah has spoken evil against you. Then Sidik Yahu, the son of Cana Anna, came near, and smote eth Mikair Yahu upon the cheek, and said, Which way went the Ruach Yahuwah from me to speak unto you? And Mikai Yahu said, Behold, you shall see on that day when you shall go into an inner chamber to hide yourself. Then the king of Yashadael said, Take ye eth Mikai Yahu, and carry him back to Amon, the governor of the city, and to Yoash, the king's son. And say, Thus says the king, Put this fellow in the prison, and feed him with bread of affliction, and with water of affliction, until I return in peace. And Mikayahu said, If you certainly return in peace, then has not Yahuwah spoken by me? And he said, Hearken, all ye people. So the king of Yashadael and Yehushaphat, the king of Yahda, went up to Ramoth Gilad. And the king of Yashadael said unto Yehushaphat, I will disguise myself and will go to the battle, but put on your robes. So the king of Yashadael disguised himself, and they went to the battle. Now the king of Aram had commanded at the captains of the chariots that were with him, saying, Fight ye not eth with small or eth great, save only with eth the king of Yashadael. And it came to pass, when the captains of the chariots saw eth Yahushaphat, that they said, It is the king of Yashadael. Therefore they compassed about him to fight. But Yahushaphat cried out, and Yahuwah helped him, and Elohim moved them to depart from him. For it came to pass that when the captains of the chariots perceived that it was not the king of Yashadael, they turned back again from pursuing him. And a certain man drew a bow at a fencher, and smote at the king of Yashadael between the joints of the harness. Therefore he said to his chariot man, Turn your hand that you may carry me out of the host, for I am wounded. And the battle increased that day, albeit the king of Yashadael stayed himself up in his chariot against the Aramim until the evening, and about the time of the sun going down, he died. <laughs>